Hey guys, it's Lady Raven, the Wild Witch, and today I'm here to do the uh, reading for the week. So we are looking at the week of December 6th, and for our reading this week, I selected, um, this is a brand new deck that I got, it's called Flowers of the Night Oracle by Sherilyn Darcy, and it's really a beautiful deck, and I love the interesting um, contrast that she's got with um, animals and flowers and plants. So um, let's dive into it real quick. So this is the card that I pulled for obstacles that we should be looking at, what's gonna stand in your way. And in this card, you have the port wine magnolia, which is native to the area of China. And you see moths around with it. And this card here, she's got labeled as compassion, which is uh, an interesting um, card for that. And, and what the obstacle here is, is a lot of times, self-compassion. Um, we tend to be compassionate towards others. It's a lot easier to have compassion towards others and to be understanding when other people make mistakes and when things don't go well for them than it is for ourselves. So the challenge this week, the obstacle is going to be compassion for yourself. Try to have compassion for yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself all week. Don't beat yourself up. Um, you know, we're coming to the end of a very stressful year. I would challenge anybody to say that this year was not stressful for them because if it wasn't, then I would love to come live where you are because for just about the rest of us, it was very stressful. So give yourself a break. Um, the compassion is self-compassion, self-love, self-care. Um, take good care of yourself just as if you would somebody in your life that's very precious to you. So that's the part that's um, what this card here covers for the um, the uh, obstacle. So then now here we are moving for this card here is going to cover what are the successes and opportunities for growth. And it's interesting that the plant that's uh, associated here is the night phylox. Uh, this plant is native to the African region. And um, this uh, little animal here, originally I thought it was a hyena, but it's not. It's called an aardwolf and it's also native to Africa, and he in, eats uh, pretty much insects. He's an insectivore, I guess is the correct word for it. But basically what this card here is saying for us is to look for things that we have an affinity for, um, things that bring us joy. So I think that, um, you know, we try to sometimes swim uphill instead of we, we look at something that we want, and instead of really trying to see how can I make that work for me, we look and see how are other people doing it, and we're going to try to do it their way and sometimes it ends up blowing up for us so look you can have different projects that are going on look at um, how other what other people are doing and then find your own way to achieve those same goals so that is the uh, reading that I'm doing for you guys for this week uh, be compassionate towards yourself be kind and then once again look for your way of doing things don't try to copy what other people are doing because it may end up being more difficult for you and I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.